2008 Dodge Charger. This one is being sold as is. Mechanical condition is unknown. This one does not start. It's got the 2.7 liter V6 with 97,000 miles. I put the jump box on here, the battery is dead. I put the jump box on here and the motor turns over very sluggish, very hard to turn over and I could smell burning wires. So I took the jump box off, I disconnected everything, I regrouped and I, um, I tried it again. I connected the jump box, as long as the key is off, I don't smell no burning wires. Once I open the ignition and I hit the starter, again, the starter can barely turn this motor over and sometimes it doesn't, it just ticks. And anytime that I'm trying to start it, again, I smell burning wires. So it may have a bad starter that's shorting out. It may have a bad motor. I don't know. That motor, it did turn over, but very slowly, very sluggishly. Now I'm going to try to hit the key and see if I can recreate everything I just told you here. I'm going to leave the camera right here and I'm going to hit the key. Here we go. Can you smell the burning wires? I can smell the burning wires. I pretty much recreated everything I told you there. It turns over very sluggishly. The motor is definitely not stuck completely, but it may be real heavy. It may just have a bad starter. I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. This is just my opinion. I do smell burning wires. It's coming from the bottom. It may be the starter that smells like burning wires. My jump box is not hot, so the, the little terminal here is not hot, so I don't know what it could be. But please note, this car is not ready to drive away, it must be towed, and it may need a whole new motor, it may have a bad motor, so bid accordingly. It's a 2.7 liter V6 with 97,000 miles. The body is straight. It's got minor dents and scratches all around. It shows normal wear and tear. The paint is peeling and faded on some spots. I see some surface rust under the paint here. I see it corroding under the paint. The body is straight. It's got tinted windows, four matching hubcaps. The tires look dry rotted. trunk looks good. This was an unmarked police unit for the city of Hollywood. The car looks very dirty. It's hard to tell where the paint is faded and where it's not. But right here, it's peeling. So the paint is peeling and does look faded on some spots. It's got the four matching hubcaps. Let me show you inside. Interior shows wear. It's got a big hole right here on the floor. The rubber mat, I'm mean, sorry, the, the rug is torn all the way through to the metal. Battery's good. I disconnected my jump box. It still has power. 97,000 miles. All the door panels are in place and appear to be in good shape. Center console armrest is torn. The steering wheel is worn all the way down. The driver's seat is not torn, but it does show some wear. And the dashboard, I'll go around the other side, but it's coming up over the AC vents and it looks like it's beginning to crack 
around the airbag on the passenger side. Rear seats look good. The whole interior back here looks nice. Interior's not a problem here. Problem may be a bad motor. There's the passenger side, as you can see, the airbag is beginning to crack right on top of the dashboard. Here's the passenger door panel, looks good. Get this stuff out of here. That seat looks good. All right, so there you have it. It's a Dodge Charger, 2008. May have a bad motor, may have electrical issues. It's being sold as is. Mechanical condition is unknown. It's lot number 114. Lot number 114, good luck.